Okay, now, Wi-Fi. You guys know, I'm really into names and where they come from, right? I just spent all this time talking about 80215. Wi-Fi is one of the places where the technology, technology industry has really let us down. It makes me very sad, okay? What does Wi-Fi stand for? What does it stand for? Uh, well, the Y stands for wireless. That's, that's not too hard. What does the Phi stand for, though? Does anyone know? Five. Five? Five, five what? Not a bad idea. Any, any other suggestions? Five O. Five O? Okay. Firewall. Wireless firewall? This is about no communication between people? Uh, yeah. Finder? Finder? Wireless finder? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Those are all much better suggestions than what the real answer is, which is... Now, hold on a second. Let me try and explain what this word is. Fidelity. And then let me explain why it's such a bad word. What does fidelity mean? Um, fidelity has to do with the quality. Okay, um, I, could, I could go into the Latin fide, which actually is the root word for faith. Anyway, it's a long story. Uh, it basically means quality. Okay? Now you're like, wireless quality? What is wireless quality? And the answer is nothing. It's completely meaningless. But this, this uh, abbreviation came from another abbreviation, which was very popular in the sort of 80s and 90s. Namely, hi-fi. Um, from, where, from which JB Hi-Fi gets their name. Now, Hi-Fi stands for high fidelity, which actually makes sense. High quality, it's actually talking about stereos and sound quality. And you've got Lo-Fi, which is like that terrible stuff which comes out of your radio and it's not that doesn't sound that good. And then you've got Hi-Fi, which is like, whoa, surround, and it's really good quality, CD, quality audio, blah, 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 right? So Hi-Fi makes sense. And then someone was like, well, it's wireless. What's a cool name we can go with? You know, um, Bluetooth had me made up there. Let's go with Wi-Fi. It rhymes. It's like the same, but different. And, and then it stuck. Because it sort of, um, it got picked up by the media, and it just, people just went with it. Despite the fact that it's meaningless, okay? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't like this name, but that's, that's what it is, okay? Now, does anyone know what's its real, proper name? Just like Bluetooth has a popular name, and it has a real name. Does anyone know what the real name of Wi-Fi is? I'll give you a clue. It starts off the same way as the name for Bluetooth because it was decided by the same guys. I should believe 802 because, again, it's about wireless communication. But it's not 15. It's 11. 11, okay? And then after 11, what will happen is there's a series of letters that comes after this, right? So, for instance, one of the most recent ones is 802.11n. Uh, there was 802.11g and 802.11h and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so let's go through it. I should believe same bunch of guys. 802, same kind of. It's still wireless communication, but 11. It's a different standard because it has to do with different powered radios and different protocols that go over it. Right. Um, the N, or actually any of the letters, stands for revision because this technology um, has changed a lot over the years because people want to do more stuff on it they want to transfer more data through it and the protocol keeps getting updated and revised okay so when you see different letters here you know eventually we'll get to Z I don't know what they're going to do after Z you know maybe they'll start doing Greek letters that'd be fun but uh, all it means is same idea same Wi-Fi but more power more range more bandwidth all those kinds of things okay all right now um, under 802, I mean, you can kind of assume if this is 802.11 and this is 802.15, there's all these other ones in between there, right? There are a lot. They're not as common, which is not why I'm not going to deal with them. But what I do want to quickly mention uh, is NFC. You might have heard this before, not to be confused with KFC. Stands for uh, Near Field Communications. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys to research that a bit later. How is it different? It's the communications technology that underpins, um, you know, all of the credit cards, and they have like PayWave and um, PayPass or whatever they're all called, right? So the idea that there's a there's a, an NFC chip built into a credit card that gets read by something else, okay? And you don't have to touch or you don't have to swipe your actual um, card. If that makes sense. Okay.